Hello, this is a quick tutorial on how to take a screenshot and add it to a live chat support session on our website at pgmusic.com. Currently, I'm using Windows 10, and as you can see here, I've got a live chat window open. And for demonstration purposes, we'll pretend that the support agent has asked us to send a screenshot of our MIDI audio driver setup in Band in a Box. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is go ahead and get that pulled up on my screen. And as you can see here, I've got Band in a Box open and I've also got my MIDI audio driver setup window open. The next thing we're going to want to do is locate the Shift, Windows, and S keys on our keyboard. Once we've located them, we're going to want to press them and hold them all down at the same time. So I'm just going to do that now with my view set up here. Once you've done that, you'll see that your screen has kind of turned dark. We have a couple of options now. We can do a, like a full screen screenshot uh, by clicking this option up here called full screen snip, and that will uh, capture the entire screen. Um, but for the purposes of demonstration, we're only really wanting to send this MIDI audio driver setup window. Um, so we can just select that by clicking down on the left mouse key button in the corner here and just dragging until we have the entire window highlighted. Once we've got that, we can just let go of the mouse button. You'll get this little notification in the bottom right of your screen. If not, no worries, you can just click on this notification tab here in the bottom right, and you can click here, and it'll open this window. From here, what we'll wanna do is click the save icon up here. Now, we'll want to save the screenshot to a place we can easily access it. The desktop is a perfect spot, or you can save it to a specific folder of your choosing. Uh, just be sure that you save it to a location that's familiar to you. So, um, I already have a folder on my desktop uh, that I want to save it to, and it's selected currently. So, I'm just going to go ahead and press Save. Now, we no longer need this window, so you can either close it or minimize it. Uh, same thing with Band in a Box. We're just wanting to get back to this live chat window here. So before we're able to attach the file to the chat, uh, we want to be sure that the support agent has enabled file sharing. As you can see, the paperclip icon down here is currently grayed out, meaning it's inactive. Once the support agent has enabled file sharing, you'll see this message. And I'm going to enable it really quick. Here it'll say, file transfer has been enabled and our little paperclip icon has turned blue. I'm going to go ahead and click on the paperclip icon. And this is where it's really important to make sure that you know where you saved your screenshot. Uh, for me, I was lucky enough to have it just open to um, the folder that I wanted. So I'm going to go ahead and select the screenshot. You see the file name will pop up down here. I'm going to press open. You'll get this little message down here saying file sent, and you'll see a preview of your screenshot. And at this point, you've successfully shared your screenshot to the chat. Now, let's say, for instance, you go to add a file, and you, it's too large. You get this message. Uh, if this happens, please let your support agent know, and we'll give you further instructions on how to send it via email. And that's it for this tutorial. If you have any further questions or issues, please feel free to reach out to your support agent.